when the BBC Africa Eye report was released earlier in the week and the hashtag sex for greater it trending, it was exposing something which we all know happens, but a lot of Nigerians just sweep under the carpet. I then decided to go to the University of Lagos for a situation report at the least. And of course, try to speak to the students and maybe the university authorities. I got lucky with the university authorities because the vice chancellor, the deputy vice chancellor spoke with me, but I wasn't so lucky with the students, especially the females who were very reluctant beyond the fact that they didn't want to be on screen. I could understand why. Well, I want to say that the allegation from what I saw, mm -hmm. they are true. Mm -hmm. um, and that was why the university immediately took that step of suspending those people who are involved. So two lecturers currently are under suspension yes. as we speak. Yes. One is? One is um, Dr. Ibenehu mm -hmm. and the other one is Dr. Ladipo. Okay. And so why did you take that action? Uh, we have to, to take that action because there's need to protect one, the name of the university, two, to be sure that we are fair to the students or the undercover mm -hmm. um, who are acting on behalf and because of the information mm -hmm. that they have gotten concerning some of these lecturers. It was shocking. I felt really ashamed somehow and I felt pained because Yes, this was a sting operation, but it could easily have been a young girl. Um, some people said, oh, what was she looking for there? But many young girls are naive. And truly, she would look at the lecturer and feel this is like a father figure. And they prayed. And they prayed, you know. So I feel sad also for the lecturer in the sense that how do you put yourself in such a horrible situation? But it's happened. And then I felt bad for the university. You do appreciate that this is a negative story. Mm -hmm. But is it a new story? You are a professor. It means you have been in this business for a long time. So it's not news to find that you hear. Because even in the interview that you granted to the news agency, you alluded yeah. to the fact that you are investigating some cases. Yes. True or false? True. Mm -hmm. We have a case in the faculty that I don't want to mention now. For what reason? For the issue of sexual harassment. So you don't want to mention the faculty because? Uh, I don't want to mention the faculty now. Okay. Um, the lecturer was suspended last week. Just for you to know that we have zero tolerance for this issue of sexual harassment. We even have, we're even working with our students to develop an app whereby wherever you are on the campus, if you're in danger of any sort, you can press a panic button on your phone and with the GPS we know where you are. So we are developing all these things just to ensure that anybody, it's not even just female students, all our students, if, you're, if you feel you're in a situation mm -hmm. that you're sorted mm -hmm. out, you can, you can ask for help. I found out three key things. One, the university does have a sexual harassment policy. Maybe other universities do too. But as always, do people use it? Is it effective? Clearly, if girls are not speaking up, how effective can this be? You always admit that some of them don't like to talk. How would they assure? It's only if there has been an end to a case that will give people the confidence to say, yes, now I can call Professor Gundipe and tell him my case. What assurance do you give? Well, you see, this, um, the panel that we set up is not only for these two people that are involved. If there's anybody, any student with any information, they send it across to the panel. And we are going to go a step further. We are going to have a committee in which if there's any student with any complaint, they will get across mm -hmm. to that committee, which will now act on their complaint. And two, there is indeed a cold room, at least the University of Lagos, and it's just a cool room which is part of an event center of sorts. They call it the cool room. Cool room, because there is AC there. Anytime we are having function, celebrating somebody, they have it in that place. So why did you shut down the cold room? Well, because of the issue that came up. I initially, what I did was to call the president of, of the staff, staff club, mm -hmm. which I did last week, to interact with him when I got the the, the email from BBC. I said, look. Oh, the email told you there was a cold room. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, that is being used for untoward, untoward activities. Activity. So I called the president and I told him, look at what um, was written about the, co the cool room. So there's need for you to do something about the staff club. So what did he say? 
and you said that he's going to act on it. So clearly, the, you've now shut it down, which yeah. means you don't even want to give them the chance to solve a problem. No, they will now come back and tell me, tell the management the step that they are going to take to make sure that the place is used properly mm -hmm. for the purpose for which I know the place was set, was up. set up for. And finally, I worried about justice being done. So would you join your voice or the VC's voice in that justice will be done in this case? It must be done. And it will be done. Oh, for sure. And what is justice? Oh, justice is that anybody who has done this will, be, will face the full length and breadth of the rules of the university. There are many other cases on ground being investigated. As always, nobody comes out to corroborate. So at least in this particular case, it is clear something will happen. But is Dr. Boniface, who is the one person that we are sure of, is he okay? There are stories about one of the professors, Professor Boniface, attempting suicide. Has this come to your office yet? Yeah, um, we got another email from the BBC staff mm -hmm. um, yesterday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And what we did was to tell the dean of the Faculty of Arts and the head of departments, together with the dean of the clinical sciences, who is a psychiatric, um, a professor of psychiatry, mm -hmm. to inter interface with him. And, and they, have? they had, they were with him for two hours. We even thought that, well, if need be, he can be admitted into the hospital. And they said it has not gotten to the level that they need to admit him into the hospital. So and we, we told them that they should be in touch with him. So as we speak now, nothing has reached your office as the fact that this man has done anything no, unusual. No. And he's under watch. He's under watch. I actually just wanted to prove that the, the VC was right when he said he's asked that they should shut the cold room at least for now and it's just a space really i hear that this tech case leads up to the cold room and it's currently under lock and key in fact getting access here was quite tough because they asked me to write my name and all of that but some lecturers intervened and they let me come in so this is the road that leads to the cold room so there actually is a cold room but it's a space that people can take advantage of to do whatever they, they want i suppose at the end of the day what's most key is that justice is done awareness is there and young girls and boys learn to take care of themselves. So ending corruption has to start from someone so it should start from you. Government needs to like scrutinize those people at the top. They are the real problems. In these ones they will commit crime and go and hide under their blankets. So cover up. Well it bothers me though that's our campuses are no longer safe from young girls. Is it new or it's always been there? I actually think that Globally, it's always been there. What I think is changing is women are fighting back, and I like it.